Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to password protect a directory using cPanel. So in my previous tutorial I showed you how to back up a website using cPanel and also how to create an email account and we use this website as an example. Now sometimes when you're working on a web project whether it's for a client or it's for yourself you may want to password protect the website so that as you're working on it uh, you can launch it at a later date right? So normally when I'm working on a web project, especially during deployment, I'll password protect the website, get the client to check it or I'll test it myself. And then once I'm happy with it, I'll launch it. I want to password protect it quickly. So to do that, what we do is go to, we we'll copy this domain for now. Let's copy this domain. In fact, what we do is just go to this particular domain slash cPanel. So you type in whatever your domain is slash cPanel. And if you're running cPanel, you, you'll be able to put in your username and you'll be able to put in your password. So I'll put in the username and password to access this cPanel. I'm going to click on directory privacy here, directory privacy. So when I click on that, it's going to show me all of the root directories. And the one that runs the actual website is called the public HTML, not this old one. This is like a backup on old archive. So I'm going to click on public HTML here. And when I click on that, um, I'm going to select password protect this directory, tick this option. And then I'm going to give it a name called protected. And I'm going to click save. So this is actually password protected the directory, but we need to give it a username and a password so you can access it or your client can access it, right? So I'm just going to make up a username. Let's just call it um, let's just call it DCP Web Test, right? So that will be the username. That's what will need to be typed in to see the website, and then we need a password. So let's click Password Generator, and we'll just copy this password, tick this option, click Use this password, and then we'll have a username and a password to access this directory, which is the public HTML. Let's click this save button. Now, if we were to take this domain, let's take this domain and open up a different web browser. We're using Firefox for the moment and click enter. Now it's gonna ask me for this username and password. If I click okay, if I click cancel, it will say you're not authorized, right? If I try and put in the username and password now, username and password, and click OK, I'll be able to see the website. So the idea here is, is that I can build a website on the server or build it on my local servers and then deploy it to the main server. But once I deploy it, I password protect it, send the URL, the username and the password to the client, or, or maybe send it to my staff, my developers, whoever it might be, and give them the username and password and say, look, check this website, make sure you're happy with it, test it. Here's the username, here's the password. You can access it. When you email me back, we'll make it go live and we'll remove the password. So let me show you how to remove this password now. Let's close down the web browser. In fact, we'll leave, yeah, let's close this one. And we're back into cPanel where we was before. Let's click the go back button. And here you can just untick this option password protect this directory and click save if we go back now the username still exists here right that's okay but when we go back to this domain now if i copy it and open up firefox one more time and paste it in you see the website will load without the username and password so that's how you add a password to a specific directory and also how to um, remove that password protection as well so that's a nice little useful feature in cPanel. It's a quick way to password protect stuff. That's what I like to do, password protect it, launch it once it's fully operational and ready. So let's minimize this. That's the end of this tutorial. That's showing you how to password protect directories using cPanel. I hope you find this tutorial useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.